This video contains examples of procedures that can be used for disinfecting caving equipment. Yeah! Who's ready to go caving? I am! Alright, cool, let's go! Wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. Like the crawl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I couldn't that believe that crawl <laughs> went. Oh, we're, we're back. back. Okay, wow. Is everybody out of the cave? Um, yeah, I'm less so. Okay. All right. After the cave trip, place dirty and muddy gear into containers to avoid spreading any harmful agents, such as fungi, viruses, bacteria, or others. We're going to carefully put all of our dirty gear into this bag. Alright. Ready? Go ahead and put that in there. After the gear is packaged, okay. use skin-safe disinfectant wipes to clean mud and dirt off of skin and other surfaces. Next step is we need to get those trash bags into these cups and then get lids on them. All right, that's good. Okay, last one. Get it down inside there. And let's get a lid on it. Head home. Clean equipment as soon as possible after returning from the trip. Formula 409 containing 0.3% quaternary ammonium can be used for cleaning and disinfecting equipment. Formula 409 is an excellent cleaner, but if it is used as a disinfectant, it must remain in contact with the equipment for at least 10 minutes. It's great to have helpers when cleaning gear. Anyone who contacts cleaning agents should wear protective equipment such as gloves and goggles. Wool light is an excellent surfactant and quite safe for most fabrics. It helps to remove mud, dirt, and minerals where unwanted biological agents may reside. However, wool light is not a disinfectant. A good place to start decontaminating non-life safety equipment is a 5 gallon bucket and a gallon of bleach. Make sure the bleach contains 6% sodium hypochlorite. To easily make a 10% solution, put a mark 1 inch from the inside bottom of a bucket and another at 10 inches. These marks will be visible from the inside. Pour 6% bleach into the bucket to just over the 1 inch line. Then fill the bucket with clean, uncontaminated water to the 10-inch line. 
This will result in a 10% bleach solution. Remove any remaining mud from gear before placing in the bleach solution. Soak non-life safety equipment in the bleach solution for 10 minutes. It may be necessary to make more than one bleach solution in order to achieve disinfection. Disinfected clothing may be effectively rinsed using the rinse cycle on the washer. However, make sure the washer is disinfected before placing clothing inside. Remove any remaining mud or dirt from vertical equipment before disinfecting. A toothbrush is good for this. Formula 409 can be used for disinfecting vertical gear. Make sure it contains 0.3% dimethyl benzyl ammonium chloride, also called benzylconium chloride. Small pieces of gear can be soaked in a jug or other container. Larger gear may need to be placed in a bucket. Be sure to cover the equipment completely and leave to soak for 10 minutes. Harnesses, foot loops, webbing, etc. can be placed in a Darren drum and covered with Formula 409. Thoroughly rinse all equipment and hang to dry after it's soaked for 10 minutes.